Welcome. As we continue our series on the Tech Museum, today we'll talk about two signature programs, the Tech Awards and the Tech Challenge. Welcome. Dave's here today, heading up the Tech Awards. So do tell us a little bit more about the Tech Awards. And welcome back to the Tech Museum. Thank you. Uh, the Tech Awards is a signature program. It's our international program of the Tech Museum. And it was started uh, more than a decade ago with a theme of technology benefiting humanity because the Tech Museum, partnering with Applied Materials and the Center for Science, Technology, and Society at Santa Clara University, wanted to honor people around the world who were using technology in creative and innovative and beautiful ways to confront problems that are... Uh, kind of facing humanity overall. Exactly. So, so is that how you got involved? Because your background is art and science, right? It is. I have a background in, in both those uh, fields, and it's woven together very nicely in both the Leonardo da Vinci exhibition that we held here at the Tech Museum that I directed, and this program, because it honors people who are working in, in diverse fields as well as a global humanitarian, and we're able to, to weave the arts into the sciences and engineering and other aspects of technology. So I've heard some major icons have been part of this, you know, the Tech Awards, and uh, Bill Gates, we've got Al Gore, Mohammed Yunus, Queen Rania. So how are they involved? Um, those are uh, people who have received the James C. Morgan Global Humanitarian Award at the Tech Awards every year. Uh, two years ago, as you mentioned, it was Queen Rania of Jordan. She came here from Amman, uh, from all the way around the world, to uh, Santa Clara to be honored at the gala. And it was, it was quite an emotional evening for everybody. She has used her position in the world um, and been very active in social media to combat stereotypes about uh, Muslims around the world. For example, on YouTube, she, had, she invited people all over the world to talk about stereotypes and to address them one another and that was a very that was a breakthrough in dealing with the stereotypes it was quite topical in these times of course and right now at the tech museum we have an exhibition about islamic science and and the role of innovations in the past to the i've islamic had a chance world. to see it and it's an amazing exhibit actually we've had some segments on the on the show about that exhibit so actually, let's take a look at queen rania's video clip and Kakuni Seifatuna. Good evening, Your Majesty Queen Rania Al Abdullah. It is an honor to have you here as our guest. For me, the Tech Awards are a perfect combination of ingenuity and compassion. Not only do they recognize invaluable innovations and in technology, they celebrate treasured contributions to humanity too. And for that, we are all thankful. Nowhere do we see finer examples on the profound ways that technology improves lives than at these Tech Awards. To help countless people reach their full potential. And healthy communities can prosper with the help of people and organizations such as the laureates we are recognizing. Giving voice to the voices we rarely hear, but that need desperately to be heard. Whether that issue involves the environment, economic development, education, quality or health. The laureates you are about to meet have endeavored to persevere and help some of the problems of others, carrying it on in the face of adversity. CISO is a Finnish term and the literal meaning in English is equivalent to having guts. More loosely it translates as strength of will, determination, perseverance and acting rationally in the face of adversity. That is integral to the human spirit and the spirit of the laureates you are about to meet. Our award laureates have amazing stories and amazing ideas, and they all deserve awards tonight. I'm really honored to be part of a community and part of a space that perceives that the value of what they do is in its ability to have diverse and multiple perspectives of the world. When we started this concept, I think like many concepts, we didn't know if it was going to take root. There's a long road between capability and an impact. There's this ubiquitous technology that even the poorest of people can access. Our system is so simple that uh, we don't need an engineer to operate it. There are many things that technology can do that we as human beings can't do. And the award winner is Pure Water Exchange. Alexis T. Bologna. Venkatesh Manar. BBC World Service Trust. A single drop for safe water. Our biggest thanks are to those individuals in the communities we work with. I can now move uh, my uh, project to the next level. For all those uh, familiar with India, you might realize it's Diwali. 
the biggest festival in India. It's our new year, it's also the festival of light. And I'm really happy to come from India and partake in this light that the Tech Awards brings to the world. So what do people expect to see at the gala? At the gala we honor 12 laureates who are in six different categories. They've been selected from hundreds of nominees around the world uh, through a process that's a year long. And they come here for a week. We bring them from all the diverse regions of the world to meet venture capitalists and people in Silicon Valley who might be able to take an interest in their projects and their work and help them scale up or help them get additional funding or publicity to make their projects and their work more successful. It's a very intensive week. We have mentoring that happens through our partners at Santa Clara University in the months leading up to the gala. And after that week here, um, we have a, a stupendous event that has more than 1,500 people in attendance. And we honor them, we give unrestricted cash prizes of $100,000 per category, wow. each of the six categories, so $600,000 in cash prizes to the laureates. Uh, we have the Global Humanitarian Award, of course. And so, but at the gala, what do we get to see? Do we get to see a little bit about their work? You do, because um, one of the great things is the, the work of the laureates is sometimes difficult to convey. And yeah. so we have partnered with uh, a legendary photo editor in New York City, Karen Malarkey, who has contacts all over the world with the greatest photojournalists on earth. And she has gotten a hundred of them to contribute free of charge images for the night of the gala that we project on a screen. Last year it was 150 feet wide, so half a football wow. field wide. These compelling images that really show the problems that the laureates are addressing in all the diverse regions of the world where they're working. And in addition to that, we commissioned filmmakers from Hollywood to create many documentaries about each of the laureates. And we have performing artists as well to take part in the evening. So it's a very emotional and educational and uplifting and inspirational time. I mean, it doesn't sound like an event that one should miss. I mean, that's an amazing opportunity to see it firsthand. I think, you know, we uh, know of some, you know, Key, key folks that have really been the, the benefactors of, of the award, such as uh, Sal Khan. Sal Khan, right. He's uh, local, and he is in Palo Alto, and he was recognized three years ago as a laureate in the education category because he, as he explained it, his niece needed some additional tutoring from him across the country in math, and they found that the easiest way to do this was to make little YouTube videos. So he started loading up YouTube tutorials for her, and other people started seeing them, and and uh, forwarding them and it became bigger and bigger and then he got lots of mail saying could you do this for me it really helped me in my class and so he was honored he was working in his closet out of his home in palo alto in <laughs> typical <those days>. silicon valley <laughs> he was honored and he attributes his international recognition of the tech awards as the first major award he got after that he was catapulted in the stratosphere and i mean he's been he's been everywhere you you see him on the news you've seen him on magazines i mean yeah. he was actually some of the conferences we've attended he's definitely a great success story i also know akshay patra was here they were they were also in the same category as sal khan in 2009 in education and they, as you probably know, are the largest non-governmental organization in the world that uh, provide free midday meals. And their work is in India. 1.3 million children Amazing. receive a meal every day, underprivileged, undernourished children in India, who ordinarily wouldn't probably be able to go to school or to eat. This brings them into the education system. And an interesting story, too, that, that a week that, that Akshay Patra was here with Sal Khan for the Tech Awards Week, um, they met a fellow laureate, Path, a three-time winner, by the way, of oh, the Tech amazing. Awards. Three years ago, Path was recognized for developing Ultra Rice. So Akshaya Patra and Path have partnered now so that Path provides Ultra Rice, that's super fortified pasta in the shape and taste of rice, to the meals that Akshaya Patra provides to the children in India. Well, we're very much looking forward to it, and we really hope that a lot of our viewers go to the website and stay tuned to find out more. Good, and I look forward to seeing you at the Tech Awards Gala in November. Absolutely, and thank you for being with us today. A pleasure. Thank you for being in the museum again.